Greetings and thank you for joining us today here at R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the process of the appeal, where it's going, what's going on, and we do have a little something new to report. Um, so I got some information from celebrating our Kelly fan page with Lolo Brister. And um, I thank you so much for sharing this information with me. Um, Jennifer Bonjean has filed a motion to dismiss the child pornography case that happened um, in the District of Illinois. The motions highlighted points stated that the statute of limitation within the case had ran out. Bonjean had asked that several cases in the District Court of Illinois be dismissed. Another case to include the obstruction of justice charge. R. Kelly's August 1st trial is several weeks away. The jury in Brooklyn, New York, threw everything any breathing individual could have ever done on the face of the planet. They have convicted Robert Sylvester Kelly on racketeering charges, and Bonjean hoped to delay R. Kelly's sentencing until after the Chicago trial, but the Brooklyn court refused the motion. Robert Sylvester Kelly is still within the detention center of New York. Bonjean has another idea to help Robert Sylvester Kelly. She's filed a motion as of May the 2nd, 2022, or there around, stating the allegations that Kelly exploited a minor to create sexually explicit videos between 1998 and 1999 and that he sought to obtain the tapes of indecent child acts on film between 2001 and 2007 and was charged of committing other sex crimes. Well, Bonjean states that the statute of limitations on those counts have been exhausted, meaning they cannot be legally retried due to the fact that the information backdated itself in, in 2009, this will be a double jeopardy act within the court system for being tried for the same crime twice. In its recent discovery enthusiasm to prosecute Mr. Kelly, according to Bon Jean, she states the government reached back a quarter of a century just trying to bring something to catch a him to catch him up with that is now outdated. The laws have changed, but he should have been grandfathered in during that time um, of 2009. And now it's just too late. So she did a good, she, she did a great job for in, introducing uh, the concept of the statute of limitations. This is something they can't hide from. They can't hide from the statute of limitations because of the fact that it is on the books. It's on the books. It's already there. And it's a very, um, this, this update is just something that I decided to put out there just for memorabilia purposes, meaning I'm taking step by step through the process and this has to go, um, <clears throat> this has to go down in history because of the fact that it is historical. This is something that's happening right now. Now, so now we're going to look at some comments about what's going on and what do we think about this area of motion? Do you feel that this is something that could help save him? I do really believe that um, this is going to be okay, but let's look at some comments and we would love to have your comments in the comment box or live chat. Here we go. And so my point in bringing this up to you right now is to just let you know that there is a change in the motion filing. And that is something important for us to remember, you know, how these, uh, pro how the process went down. Now we're going to look at some comments and we also want to definitely get your point of view. Do you think that the, the judge in the, Chicago case is going to be different than the judge in the New York case. Do you think that they're similar? Do you feel that R. Kelly, Robert Sylvester Kelly has a chance with the motion that was just filed? Do you feel that, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, there's a lot of things going on in my head right now, but I'm just waiting for the sentencing, um, 
hearing or whatever is going to take place next. I'm waiting for the appeal if it needs to be an appeal or an adjudication or um, just to let go of the case. It's just like I'm just sitting here waiting. And that's what we probably all are doing. So the point that I'm saying here is that this is a little bit of hope that we can hold on to today that Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly is being thought about and we are giving strong, positive meditation to him, you know, to keep his head up because the fight is not given to the the weak, but the strong and those who endure through these hard and crucial times. So let's get to some comments. So CBS had some replies. Thank you so much for the information that you bring to Robert Kelly fans. And it's about time for him to come home. We will keep praying for him. Thank you. It's like fire set up in my bones that I just can't believe that Jennifer Bonjean knows what's going on and can take this case and get it done the right way. Steve Greenberg was going through the motions. His money was gone, so they were gone. Can't wait for Robert to come home and get back to his children and fans and his music. We're so missing his music. You go, Jennifer Bonjean. You're going to take the bull by the horn. Peace and blessings, fam. Free R. Kelly. See, one thing I want to say also is that when we talk about being free, um, one thing that we must do is realize that we have to be free in the mind first. You know what I mean? All of this can go down the way we all want it to go down to where he's free. But if his mind is still stuck in that mentality of him being incarcerated and what people are saying and the confidence level has been decreased, he's going to have that mental instability that's going to cause him to maybe feel less than um, confident as he used to be. But I pray that that is not the case. I think anyone who has been incarcerated does have a mental illness because that mental illness of how being told what to do, how to do, it puts you on a leash and it makes you feel inhuman. It makes you feel as though you're not as strong as you used to be. So in empowering Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly during this time, my whole goal is to sit back and watch this thing play itself out so he can get home and he can then decide, you know, how he's going to build his temperament back. You know, we're going to have to give him a little bit of time because he's going to have to grow out of what he's been conditioned to do. And with all the world watching and him knowing that the world is watching is very difficult, possibly for him to just bounce back immediately. What are your thoughts on that? Um, that's very uh, critical. And I say critical in the sense of mentally critical that we be, you know, ready for that. You know, some of us are going to see him in a different light. He's going to be older. He's going to be more mature. He's not going to look the same. You know, they may have, you know, he's going to, he's going to change. He's going to change because he was going through the transitional change already. And to put this stress on him is just going to, at that point, acknowledge what that the system can beat us down you know it can knock us out a little bit but it's how we fight it back because he's the world's greatest so we expect him to fight back we expect him to be that goat we expect him to have that power of fire and 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 earth and water and air just all of it all together you know, so this is what I wanted to bring to you tonight. It's not a long video. I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the R. Kelly Appeal channel. And also, if you are interested in the May 29th uh, Cash App upload for three individuals, we're going to give you $25 for you to do with whatever you want to just say that we thank you for listening to our podcast and responding 
um, the information is in the description box below. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it has uplifted you in some way. And I hope that we will continue to be meditative towards Mr. Kelly so that he in turn can feel our energy because that's what this is about. It's feeling the vibration and just holding on to that. And that's how he's living now. He's living from our positive thoughts, our attributes towards him. You know, the the um, empathy and compassion we're showing to him. Thank you so much. And as always, keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.